Everybody's wondering what the difference between moths and butterflies are. Let's get into it. First up, the antenna. Butterflies have a thin antenna with little clubs at the end, like tiny Q-tips. And moths, they've got feathery or thread-like ones, depending on the species. Some even look like fuzzy antlers. Next, their wings at rest. Butterflies hold their wings straight up over their backs. Moths lay them flat or tent-like over their bodies like a cozy blanket. For the time of day, butterflies are sunshine lovers, active during the day sipping nectar doing pollinator things. And moths, strictly night crew. They operate under moonlight and occasionally try to headbutt your light bulb into submission. Both start life as caterpillars, but butterfly caterpillars are usually smooth, sometimes with tiny spines or horns for defense. Moth caterpillars are often fuzzy or hairy, but of course there are exceptions on both sides because nature loves to break its own rules. For metamorphosis, butterflies form a chrysalis, a smooth hardened shell that often hangs out in plain sight. Moths spin cocoons, silky, often hidden among leaves or underground, like little secret transformation pods. For their colors and patterns, the butterflies are the show-offs. Bright wings, bold patterns, all about attracting mates and warding off predators. Moths tend to go muted. Browns, grays, camouflage. They're trying not to get noticed while chilling on tree bark. But plot twist, some moths are gorgeous gorgeous, like the giant atlas moth. And there are exceptions to all these differences. And here's a wild stat. There are around 20,000 butterfly species, but over 160,000 species of moths. Yeah, big difference. So yeah, butterflies get released at weddings and moths break into your room at 2 a.m. and forget why they came in. Just like your roommate, Kevin.